Welcome back, nerds, to episode two of Chatting with Tarantino Scripts Using LLMs. In the last episode, we embarked on an epic journey, web scraping Tarantino Scripts as PDFs and transforming them into a data frame. Today, we're delving deeper into the saga, focusing on transforming this data into embeddings in the most efficient and cost-effective way. Now, if you recall, our mission is unique. We're not just going through the typical documentation, we're diving into the world of asynchronous programming, enabling us to do things faster and monitor costs, a feature most online scripts don't offer. So let's get started with part one of our three-part script. But before we get going, make sure to smash that like button. Diving right in, we're kicking things off with our essential libraries. We have Ari for regular expressions, which will allow us to manipulate our text data, and Pandas for handling and organizing this data in a data frame, making it easier to process. Remember, a data frame is like a table that holds our data with rows and columns that we can manipulate and analyze. Next up, we have Asyncio and IOTG entering the scene. These libraries are the stars of the show, allowing us to perform asynchronous programming. This means we can execute multiple tasks concurrently without waiting for each one to complete before moving on to the next. It's like directing multiple scenes of a movie simultaneously, making our production more efficient and time-saving. However, even stars face challenges. When we use a Syncio, we might encounter a runtime error. But fear not, we have Nest underscore a Syncio to the rescue, applying a patch to solve this issue and ensuring our asynchronous operations run smoothly. If you haven't yet, click on that subscribe button so you can learn how to solve more issues like this. Moving on, we're setting our OpenAI API key. This key is like the ticket to access the OpenAI services, allowing us to generate those much anticipated embeddings later on. Keep it safe. You wouldn't want it falling into the wrong hands. Now it's time to bring our data frame into the spotlight. We're reading our CSV file, which holds the Tarantino scripts we acquired in the previous episode and loading it into a data frame using pd.readcsv. This data frame named DF is now the star holding all our scripts ready for action. Before we jump into the action scenes, we need to ensure our scripts are spotless. Enter the clean underscore text function. This function is like our script editor going through the text and making sure it's clean and ready for the cameras. It uses regular expressions from the re-library to remove unnecessary spaces, special characters, non asci characters, HTML tags, URLs, and email addresses, leaving us with a polished script. This preparation sets the stage for the upcoming transformations as we venture into generating embeddings and exploring the vast possibilities they offer, such as semantic search, clustering, and analytics. So stay tuned, like, share, subscribe, and let us know in the comments which Tarantino movie dialogue you find most iconic. The journey continues, and trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next. As we continue our journey, it's time to delve into the heart of our mission-generating embeddings. But before we get our hands dirty with code, let's take a moment to understand what embeddings are and why they are the hidden treasure we're after. Embeddings in the realm of natural language processing are numerical representations of text. Imagine trying to understand the essence of a Tarantino script, but instead of words, you're given a list of numbers. These numbers, or vectors, capture the semantic meaning of the words, enabling computers to understand and process textual information. It's like translating the intricate dialogues of Pulp Fiction into a language that machines can comprehend. So why are embeddings the unsung heroes of our story? With embeddings, we unlock the doors to a myriad of possibilities, such as semantic search, clustering, and analytics. Semantic search allows us to find relevant information in our scripts based on meaning rather than just keyword matching. It's like finding all the scenes where Tarantino explores themes of redemption, not just the ones where the word redemption is explicitly mentioned. Clustering, on the other hand, groups our scripts or parts of them based on similarity and meaning. Imagine discovering hidden connections between different scenes across Tarantino's filmography, uncovering recurring motifs and themes. And then we have analytics, allowing us to analyze the scripts, extract insights, and uncover patterns. It's like peeling back the layers of a Tarantino movie, revealing the underlying structure and narrative techniques. Now, with the stage set, let's dive into our generate underscore embeddings function. Here, we're defining an asynchronous function, and this is where the magic of asyncio shines. Instead of processing our scripts one by one in a loop, which could be time consuming, asyncio allows us to send multiple scripts to OpenAI simultaneously. It's like filming multiple scenes at once, saving time and resources. 
In our function, we're sending a post request to OpenAI's API specifically to the embeddings endpoint. We're providing the necessary headers, including authorization with our API key and inputting our cleaned text along with the model we're using, text embedding ADA002. This model is our chosen director known for its efficiency, speed, and delivering high quality results. Once our request is sent, we await the response. If all goes well and we get a status of 200, we process the JSON response to extract the embedding and the total tokens used. These are the treasures we're after, the numerical representation of our text and the information on resource usage. If we encounter any issues, our function is ready to handle it, returning none, ensuring our journey continues smoothly. We find ourselves in the realm of the main function, where the individual components of our script come together to create a cinematic masterpiece. In this function, our clean Tarantino scripts will undergo a transformation, emerging as numerical vectors, ready to unveil the secrets of Tarantino's storytelling. The main function, defined as asynchronous, sets the stage for our adventure. The first act sees us applying the clean underscore text function to the text field of our data frame, ensuring that our scripts are polished and primed for their transformation. With our scripts clean, we kickstart the timer, marking the beginning of our thrilling journey. The timer will allow us to measure the efficiency of our process, ensuring that we extract the essence of Tarantino's work in a swift and timely manner. As we venture forward, we initialize the IOTEP session. This session is our gateway to the world of asynchronous HTTP requests, allowing us to communicate with OpenAI's API and request the transformation of our scripts into embeddings. The use of async you'll gather here is crucial, enabling us to send multiple scripts concurrently, harnessing the power of parallel processing to accelerate our journey. With our tasks set, we await the results, anticipating the treasures that lie ahead, the embeddings and total tokens for each script. These results are then meticulously appended to our data frame, organizing our newfound knowledge and preparing it for further exploration. But our journey doesn't end here. We calculate the cost of our adventure based on the total tokens used and the rate. This step is vital as it allows us to monitor our resources and ensure that we are navigating our journey in a cost-effective manner. With the elapsed time and total cost calculated and printed, we take a moment to reflect on our journey marveling at the efficiency and resourcefulness of our adventure. The data frame, now enriched with embeddings, is displayed for us to behold and saved as Excel and CSV files, preserving our treasures for future exploration. As we navigate through the maze of Tarantino's genius, it's essential to keep an eye on the clock and the wallet. Every piece of dialogue we transform is like a scene we're shooting. It takes time, and yes, it costs money. Now imagine this. We've got 16, 14 pages from Tarantino's collection, each a masterpiece in its own right. Transforming each page is a swift act, taking approximately 4.76 seconds and costing about $0.0465. It's cheaper than a Royale with cheese. But the journey doesn't end here. In the next episode, we will be venturing further into the unknown, exploring the wonders of semantic search using these very embeddings to perform Q and MBA, unlocking the mysteries and answering the unanswerable. We will be translating the captivating scripts of Tarantino into a multitude of languages, breaking down barriers and bridging worlds. Hold on to your hats because we will also be generating and executing SQL queries on the structured data, enabling you to obtain answers from uncharted territories and discovering a whole new frontier. And that's not all. We aim to merge everything together, crafting a multifaceted tool that allows you to perform multiple types of searches on the same documents across languages, all by typing in a single question. The possibilities are limitless, and the treasures awaiting discovery are countless. If you haven't yet, put your favorite Tarantino in the comments, ding the notification bell, and smash that like button. Stay tuned, keep exploring, and get ready to embark on another thrilling adventure as we continue to uncover the hidden gems and untold stories of the textual universe.